Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I have another video in my uh, Raspberry Pi RetroPie Mini NES uh, series. So changes I've made, I've printed out a little LAN port cover because I'm using a Model A Plus I believe and this was originally, this case was originally designed uh, for a B plus, I believe, or a Raspberry Pi 3 maybe even. Uh, so I don't need this. So I found a model that someone made online of just a, a cover on that just to make it look a little nicer. So I printed that out. I painted it as well. I rewired this. Uh, the There was originally a big USB cable. And just to make it a little slimmer, I just soldered a little 30-gauge uh, counter wire between these two boards uh, just for the USB lines. So this is the uh, wireless Xbox 360 uh, card, and this guy here is a USB hub. And here I have my control board, so I already mentioned what that does before. Another thing I added was a little fan and a bigger heat sink on the processor. So I plan on overclocking this a lot more. I think I have this on low or medium. I want to maximum overclock it. So I added a little fan, 5-volt fan, and um, I had one extra output on my microprocessor. My microprocessor is a three point, it's running off the 3.3 volt rail, but I want to switch a 5 volt fan. So what I ended up doing was I have another output that's driving a fan control signal, which goes to a surface mount transistor uh, through a 500 ohm resistor to the base. So that limits the current so I don't overdrive the, the transistor. Uh, and then finally on the output side, the emitter obviously is tied to ground. The collector goes to the negative input of the fan, and then the positive input of the fan goes to the positive 5 volt rail. So in this way, a 3.3 volt control signal for my microprocessor can turn on a 5 volt fan. And so I can demonstrate this right now. So it's, it's sitting off right now. You can see the fan is off. When I click the power button, you can see it turns on. Voila! So uh, one thing to note is in my software, it's kind of dumb. I'm just literally replicating exactly what the, uh, the LED does. So I'll show you in a second. When, the, when you press the power button to turn off the system, uh, the LED uh, blinks like eight times or something like that. And so will the fan. It'll pulse. You can kind of hear it and see it. So uh, once this fully boots up, I'll get to that and I'll show you guys it turning off. Okay, it should be fully booted now. Let's try turning it off. You can kind of hear it uh, pulsing along with the LED. And there you go, the system turns off, the fan turns off. So yeah, uh, standby current draw of this should be pretty low. It should be whatever the quiescent draw of the microprocessor waiting for a button press is. Uh, plus some of the LEDs on the Raspberry Pi board underneath are still lit up even in standby mode. Uh, so I'm gonna guess something in the milliwatt range. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to button this up and I can finally uh, sit down and overclock it and, and play. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.